Today on the Stony Ridge Farm, we're gonna put Big T, shut up fool, to work with the bat wing mower. We're gonna go over on the other side of the farm. We're gonna see some land that you guys have never seen on the channel. Cleared, first time mowing in two years. I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life, times like this. Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. What we're going to be doing today is putting the Woods Batwing mower to work with the TYM T1104. Before we get started, let me tell you where we're going and we'll also talk about the equipment. So we are going on the far back side of the farm to an area that has never been mowed before, okay? So we cleared this land about two years ago and I just let mother nature take over and I also seeded it with some fescue grass seeds so we can establish pasture. Where we're going again is not fence. So it's on the far side of the farm. It's something that I may use for hay fields in the future and I plan to fence it in as soon as possible. But we've got some tree issues with trees falling down in the pasture from the neighbor neighbor's property. So this is the Woods Batwing BW15.50. This is an awesome machine. It runs on 540 PTO, meaning the shaft that comes out of the back of the tractor runs at 540 revolutions per minute. This is the TYM T1104. Let me walk you around it real quick. It's an awesome cab tractor, 110 horsepower. So as we walk around the Batwing mower, and this may give you some ideas in case you guys are considering buying a Batwing mower for your property. I chose to get the heavy duty airplane tires. These are the solid airplane tires I'll never get a flat on those those will last forever forever if you keep this machine up this is the BW 15.50 from Woods mowers and this is a gearbox it has three gearboxes one two three and a splitter right up there in the middle that distributes both of these PTO shafts. I can mow with this thing in the upright position, although it's not quite recommended to mow completely at 90 degrees. The way this works is for getting through fences and gates, both of these sides fold up like a bat wing and I'll get you some cool footage of that. Underneath here, you'll see in the discharge area, there are chains. You could get belts, you could get chains or you could get nothing. I chose to get the chains and up under here, you'll see what the blades look like right here. Pretty simple stuff, nothing too awful complicated. This thing, if it hits a stump or something like that, will jump up over it. I think they call it a stump jumper. Right in here are the uh, chains that I was telling you about. And there are also chains on the very front right here. And this helps prevent slinging stuff from under the mower into a tire. And we really have to watch that. When you first get this mower, you have to set it up properly. So right now, one of the legs is kicked up. You have to set this up properly so that it sits level and goes up and down level. So that was some of the setup that I had to do. One of the cool things with the Woods mower here is that everything is magnetic. Okay, so there's a little magnet underneath here versus having to undo bolts and undo screws. Everything is held in place magnetically. Now, we don't have a shear bolt here, we have a clutch system right here. So if we get overloaded some sort of way, this clutch system will allow it to slip. In other words, if I hit something real big on this side, that clutch will slip. If I hit something big on that side, that clutch will slip. Same thing with the center. And again, this is all set up magnetically. Just sits right down on there. All these covers are magnetic. There are lubrication points all over this machine. Then you also have ways of checking the fluid inside your gearbox, which is super, super handy, guys. There's a dipstick right down in there. Awesome stuff. These gearboxes are famous for getting water in them. I have not had a water issue at all with any woods mower whatsoever. Now, on to Big T. This is Big T or Mr. T, the TYM T1104 tractor. It's the largest tractor that TYM produces for the United States market. If we look underneath the hood, we've got a Doosan diesel engine 110 horsepower let's just raise this guy up all the bells and whistles that you'd typically see with a tractor we've got a little bit of dirt on our uh, screen right here we'll have to remove that before we start mowing so our temperature stays optimal this has the uh, def fluid system and i'll take you around and show you that you've got an off switch for your battery in case you want to save your battery i leave it on all the time because i use this tractor quite a bit on the farm it's a monster again 110 horsepower i do believe it's around 90 
horsepower to the PTO shaft. Reach up here, close that hood, <laughs> and then we'll have to push this guy forward. Just like that, she's ready to rock and roll. So from inside the cab, and again, this takes the DEF fluid. It's a newer machine, so it's gonna take DEF. That's diesel exhaust fluid. It will help to uh, make the emissions a little bit better. This is a cab model machine. Got my key right here. Got a nice cushy air ride seat. We'll go ahead and start this guy up and get him up to optimal running temperature. <laughs> oh, my God. the battery's dead. All right, she's purring like a kitten right now. <laughs> Battery's a little bit low. I need to kind of keep an eye on that. Anytime you have a piece of equipment like this that uh, sits for a while, you definitely got to keep an eye. Put a battery tender on it for sure. So right here, we've got our loader handle. That's how we operate the loader. Raises it up and down, just like so. Very, very simple. This is our uh, speed, our RPM, and we want to get to that little green light right there, which sets us at 540 PTO. This is our PTO selector lever right here and it's set to 540. This will do 1000 and 750. There's our emergency brake right here. Clutch pedal. This is a shuttle shifts. In other words, forward and reverse. Forward's that way, reverse is that way. Horn right there. Lights, turn signals. It's got wipers, all that jazz. And hey, there you are. <laughs> this is our gear shifter. We can shift on the fly by pushing a trigger right here and that engages the clutch. Okay, there's also a high and low right here on the shifter knob. Very cool. RPMs and various uh, knobs to move our loader. So, our loader, <laughs> our uh, mower. You can see I'm raising that up just by pulling on this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to raise both sides up and we're going to be driving to the other side of the farm. We also have air conditioned heat controls, radio. I don't use a radio a whole lot. Uh, we've got a, what you'd call a sunroof, but it's actually for being able to visualize what's up above the tractor in case you're working overhead, unloading hay bales and stuff like that. Washer, wiper, external lights, tons of lights on this machine. You have diff lock in case you get stuck or you need to lock all your diffs. All, -wheel all the time four wheel drive and on demand four wheel drive. When you back up, you can set this thing to raise up your rear implement. Uh, when you turn, you can set it to turn off the uh, um, PTO. In other words, it'll stop. Auto PTO is right there. Cool. This is our knob to turn on our PTO to get our blades spinning. And all this is the Bosch system for our three-point lift, which we are not using today. So let's get over on the far side of the farm and start mowing, baby. Woohoo! Got about a 10-minute drive across the farm. important that we define what we're mowing over here and why we're doing what we're doing. 
So you'll see from the drone footage, this is a field, uh, two fields basically, that are somewhere in the neighborhood of 25 acres. In these fields are a lot of weeds, like this weed right here. <laughs> There's a lot of weeds. We've got dog fennel. This is dog fennel right here. We've got fescue grass. We have uh, Cerisi lespedeza, which is an invasive species, but the cows will eat it. What our goal is, this is a Cerisi lespedeza, it's about to flower. What we want to do is we want to get in here, we want to cut all this stuff before it seeds out and before it flowers for the next year. The layer of trash that this leaves behind will serve as a layer of biomass in the soil, which will help to bring moisture to the soil and thus help correct the pH of the soil and help build the soil here on the Stony Ridge Farm. So we're not cattle farmers, we're soil scientists, really. So. Uh, you'll see right here, this Cerisi Lespedeza is somewhere in the neighborhood of two and a half feet tall. And this is the first field that we're going to mow. First field is here, second field's over there, and the third field is right over here. And I'm going to be putting a pond over there at some point in this gully right here. The pond will be set up for the cows to drink water that's going to be siphoned out of the pond to various waterers that are going to be stationed over on this side of the farm. We are approximately a half a mile from the house that way. Let's toss a drone up, get busy working, get this job done, man. This is gonna take me somewhere in the neighborhood of three hours on this section, and then I've got two more sections to do, but I'm not gonna take you guys with me. It's gonna look great. We'll give you a before and after. All right, folks, as you can see from the drone footage, this bat wing mower is going to make this job so much easier. I tell you, what used to take me three hours to mow takes me about 30 minutes to mow now, which is super awesome. I pretty much underestimated the amount of time it's going to take to mow these pastures. It's really only going to take me about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. You guys can see from the before and after footage here that this really is going to turn out nice. I didn't do any smoothing in this field. In other words, when we cleared the land, I'll get you some land clearing footage right here. Uh, when we cleared this, we just pulled the stumps out and shook them out and tossed them into that pile. And you see kind of like a berm, a nice dark green berm that's right in the middle of the field. Well, that dark green berm, which is right over there, is uh, all the brush debris and stumps. And what I'm doing is leaving that in a windrow or a big pile so that I can uh, spread that out on the land. We'll let it rot naturally and we'll spread it out on the land, thus not losing any topsoil. These trees are a little bit of a pain in the butt to mow around, <laughs> as you can see, but it's not too bad. I left trees in the pasture so the cows would have shade. So there's a tree approximately every 100 yards or so out here in this pasture. And these are, oh, that was loud. <laughs> these are loblolly pine trees. I'm getting ready to go buy one right now. There's some blackberry bushes growing in here and, and some other stuff. But what I found is where blackberries like to grow is where grass likes to grow. So if you mow down the blackberries, the grass will take over. And what we're trying to have is a multi-species pasture out here on the Stony Ridge Farm. We don't want just fescue grass. We want multiple species of pasture. So once we get this fenced, we'll start rolling hay out on it. That hay will help reseed the land and we won't have to dump a ton of money into fertilizer and reseeding our land. We'll let mother nature do it 
and we'll also feed the land with hay bales and cow manure uh, out on the uh, pastures. That's what we do here on the Stony Ridge. Guys, pound that like button if you like this kind of content. Probably got just a little bit more mowing to do and we'll get you uh, an after shot after I get over in that other field over there. Beautiful day here on the farm. Awesome. You might see me turning around and that's what I'm doing right now you can see from inside the cab what it's like it's a little bouncier than it looks from the drone shots <laughs> and uh, you know there's a whole lot of turning around that goes with mowing uh, when you're mowing big pastures like this or even the smaller pasture uh, the smaller the pasture the more turning you'll have to do uh, but what I've found is with the batwing mower if I miss a little spot when I turn around, the next time around I will get that little spot. So not to worry about missed spots. Similar to that right there, there's a little missed spot right there. We'll catch that on the way back through. Still got a lot more to go. Got to get over into that pasture too. <laughs> I thought I forgot about my camera out there. There's a camera right there. Whoopsie. <laughs> can't say enough about the TYM tractor. I'm sitting in here in the comfortable air conditioning. I don't have to wear hearing protection. It's just absolutely a joy to drive this machine. No problems whatsoever and I'm on my second year with this tractor. Like I said, absolutely no problems whatsoever. Uh, TYM USA is, is where these tractors come from and you know tractors are built in a global market guys so what you need to know is it's not just the United States. Even if you do buy a John Deere tractor, we proved that in a, in a past video, uh, my tractor was assembled not in the United States. So it's an American company, just like TYM USA is an American company. So food for thought when it comes to saving money and buying the appropriate machinery for your farm. I'm really impressed with the TYM and paired up with this Woods Batwing, you just can't beat it. Lots more work to come. And this is a forever tractor for the Stony Ridge Farm. All right, idle down, baby. That turns off our PTO. Whew. Guys, let me tell you, this was a job. <laughs> uh, wait till you see the results. Look at that. This stuff was this deep. This was a job. I've been in the tractor for about six hours now. I got about 25 acres all mowed up. Uh, you can see what I'm saying about the farm not having any topsoil. This is it. It's a sandy soil. So over here, we're going to keep on mowing until we get our fences built, and then we'll be moving the cows over here. Doesn't it look beautiful? It just absolutely turned out awesome. I was able to get around the trees pretty good with the batwing mower very very happy with this machine i can't tell you how awesome having that big tractor has been uh this is whew, the wind has picked up you can see this is all the debris that we picked up while we were mowing i've got to get back and blow that off with the leaf blower but man what a day what an awesome day we got rain clouds coming get some water on this get the grass growing guys Thanks a lot for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching the Big T, the Big TYM tractor and the Woods Batwing go to work. I have three more fields very similar to this that I have to mow. So tomorrow and the next day, I'll be mowing. <laughs> Thank you guys. Take care. Please hit that like button on the way out the door. I'd love to have you back here. Subscribe to the channel. Come on back and see me on the Stony Ridge. All right? Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here. Stony Ridge.
How about an airplane right there? I got the camera out. Let's get some airplane action over here. It's always something, isn't it? Hey there, folks. This is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here near the airport. Keep circling over. <laughs> Getting on my nerves, man. See ya.